When your party needs to figure out a puzzle or the hacker needs to defeat some security measures in the corporate's mainframe, then a single opposed role doesn't quite cut it. It doesn't communicate that tension or the narrative that would usually accompany these situations. So in this video, I'm going to explore the extended conflict optional rule from mSpace. I have to say, since learning this rule, I've used it across all the games we play from the suite of games by the design mechanism. So do stick around right the way to the end when I give you some examples about the different situations that we've used it in. So the extended conflict rule is used for situations when something more is needed than a simple opposed skill role. I often use it when I want a task to take longer than a few minutes or when there's an element of conflict present. For example, a hacker trying to defeat the corporate system. Before you start an extended conflict, you need to figure out three things. First up, and probably the easiest, is a skill that is going to be used. For example, this could be insight for a problem solving conflict or computing for somebody who wanted to hack into a system. Next up is something that's called a conflict pool. This is one characteristic or an average of two characteristics. So, for example, if someone is trying to decipher something, then the characteristic will be intelligence. Well, if something requires a brute force, then it might be strength. You can actually choose two characteristics and find the average. An example of this might be a car chase when we find the average of both the dexterity and the intelligence. And if you want some more ideas about what characteristic to use in certain situations, then there is a great list on page 43 of the M Space rulebook. And the final element is time. How long will each round take? This can be very flexible. You can have a time period that is very short, for example, five seconds, which is the equivalent to one combat round, or a period of hours, days, or even months. Once you've decided on these three elements, then it is time to start rolling. So usually the character with the highest pool declares their action first. I sometimes change this and say the character or the object that is initiating the conflict actually starts. All participants then roll their skill as an opposed role and the winner of the opposed role rolls a 1d6 and reduces the opponent's conflict pool by that amount. Then the time period passes and once it has then another opposed role is completed and the winner reduces their opponent's conflict pool by 1d6. This continues until one of the conflict pools are reduced to zero. At this point the conflict is ended and the person or the object with points still in their conflict pool wins. But before we dive into some examples, there are three more important rules to cover. First of all, if the conflict pool of either opponent gets to half or lower, then the skill uh, difficulty for the imposed role increases by one level. This would usually mean that the opposed role for that opponent will be hard. Secondly, once a conflict pool has got to half or lower, the opponent has the choice to withdraw from the conflict. And finally, conflict pools will refresh to their maximum after one day. So characters should choose carefully which conflicts they want to engage with. 
And if you would like to see more examples of both opponent ratings and conflicts, then you can find these on page 46 of the M Space Rules. Thank you for watching the video up to this point. So here are some examples that we've used in our campaigns. So I personally am a great believer that characters should problem solve rather than the players. I created a video all about my views and I'll link it in the description. So when problems are presented in the campaign, then I use an extended conflict role to solve this. So let me give you an example. In our recent classic fantasy actual play, the party found a riddle that needed to be solved in order to enter a dungeon. Now, even though the players knew the answers, the characters did not. So each time period was a turn, i.e. Uh, a turn in a combat. So each time the opponent had to, they had to roll to see the opposed roll to see whether or not they were successful in order to reduce the um, conflict pool of the riddle. Now, in this situation, I use those ratings that are on page 46 of the M space rules, which say examples of if a conflict, conflict pool would be hard or challenging or things like that. So as they were rolling or the major was rolling to try to solve the conflict, the situation was made more interesting by the party being attacked from behind and the necromancer in the cellar trying to finish her summoning incantations. As you can imagine, therefore, there was lots of pressure on the mage to solve the riddle. Speak, friend, and enter. And the second example of the extended conflict rule that we use, I would like you to take you to M space itself. When we had a player who wanted to hack a communication or computer system. In these situations, we use the extended conflict pool. This means that they can either try across a whole day or if they have a more pressing need, they can, we can reduce the time period to like a minute or an hour. An example of this would be the um, situation in Star Wars when R2-D2 is trying to shut down the garbage crushers. The players are trapped in one, the space is getting less and less, and there is this conflict pool slowly being worn down by R2-D2 to actually stop the garbage crushers and save the party. I hope this is giving you some ideas for using the extended conflict rules. And if you haven't purchased M Space yet, then I would highly recommend it. It's an excellent system and our usual group have been transported to the stars and beyond. Remember, if you found this or any of the videos on my channel helpful or entertaining, then please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing. And remember, you can become a supporter of the channel that gives you early access to videos and an exclusive monthly video when I discuss ideas and tasks for the future. Till next time, I hope all your posed roles are successful. That reduces the opponent conflict pool to zero. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya. Bye.